Hello everybody, James here, and today I'm going to do a gear video. I've had a lot of requests on this, or a few rather, uh, and I've had some comments like, how are you going to get all the way from Georgia to Maine? What are you going to use to get there? What kind of stuff? Well, this doesn't make sense to me. My mom and, and a few of my relatives. Um, so, I'm gonna, I thought I'd put this gear video together. I'll get through this as quick as I can. I know sometimes these can be drug out, but uh, this is the gear that I will start with. Um, some of it will be a little heavier because it will be colder temperatures. Um, so when it gets warmer, I will switch out some of my uh, clothing or get rid of some of my clothing as well as a sleeping bag, uh, under quilt, things like that, which I'll explain when I get to it. So we'll start out. Here's my bag. I have an Osprey Exos 58 uh, liter bag. Uh, I love this thing. I've had it for probably about three years now. Uh, it's lightweight. It's got this uh, back mesh that keeps me cooler than any other bag I've ever used. Uh, on here I already have my little carabiner with uh, compass, but more importantly it has a temperature gauge, which is why I, I gotten it. Sorry for the wiggle. I have a cat down here playing with a piece of wood from the fire stove. Um, also on here I have my uh, hand sanitizer that goes on my bag as well. And inside I have a trash compactor bag which most people do use to keep their gear dry. I also have the Osprey pack liner that will keep my bag dry when it rains hopefully that is the thought and the trekking poles I'm using are an REI Traverse power lock with uh, cork handles uh, these things are pretty nice they're probably not the lightest in the world but uh, I like them uh, they're made by Comperdell um, which has been around for a while so these are what I will be using. I have a ground cloth. It is a Tyvek ground cloth. You don't get much lighter than that. And because uh, Smoky Mountains makes you sleep in a shelter, as well as uh, something to maybe set on for breaks and stuff during the day, I have this pad. It's a very light weight, uh, very thin, uh, close cell phone pad that weighs I believe four and a half ounces um, I may get rid of it after I get past the Smokies if I'm not using it uh, to set on for breaks and stuff we'll see where that goes okay moving on to my shelter for my shelter I am not a ground sleeper I like to hang in a hammock uh, I've had back surgery and ground just is not comfortable to me. So, I have a Eno double nest hammock I've made modifications to. I got rid of the heavy um, rope they had on the ends and you uh, have it replaced with Amstel. I have got rid of the carabiners that were very heavy. I've got some really lightweight climbing rings. Um, I've got Kevlar tree straps. Um, as well as Amstel for my hang. So I've, I've made some mods to it, made it about as light as I can. I probably could get lighter with the bug net because I got the Guardian bug net and it's a little heavy, but it's always done me well. It's kept me insect free. Um, so in this Dutch bag that's double ended, I have my Eno hammock and my bug net and all the straps and line to hang it, as well as the guy line for the bug net as well. Uh, so everything's right in here. These are the stakes. I have uh, 14 of them. I may send a few home, uh, but this is enough if I was to use the ground cloth along with my uh, fly uh, tarp to make a ground tent because I can do that. If I stay on a bowl or something where there's no trees, then that's a very possibility. Uh, 
So there's 14 steaks. They're really lightweight. I think this whole thing weighs seven ounces. In here, uh, this is snake skins and it has my war bonnet, super fly uh, tarp. Uh, this thing essentially makes a tent over my hammock. Um, so in bad weather, uh, cold weather, wind, rain, snow, uh, this should this will do the job and I've been using this for probably three or four years now I really like it and it makes it very easy to set up being in these snake skins so happy hammock setup they say and it is probably a little bit heavier than you'll find a tent I think uh, the hammock and the fly and the the snake skins and the Dutch bag and everything right there weighs around four four and a half pounds uh, but we're talking comfort. I, I gotta be comfortable when I sleep at night. I did. This is a luxury item. It's a, called a uh, underbelly for my hammock. It will keep my gear up off the ground, keep it from getting wet. And typically, I hang my hammock. Uh, I'm sorry, hang my backpack in a tree at night. But with the weather conditions. Um, I just thought it'd be best to keep it underneath me. Uh, this thing doesn't weigh much either, uh, but I think it'll be worth its weight in gold. Gear belly, him. Okay, so with the hammock, you have an, a little extra piece. It's an under quilt. This will keep me warm because when you hang in the air, the cold air under you won't make you cold at night. This is a. Uh, 20 degree bag made by Loco Libre and uh, it's made out of dry down I believe 850 fill um, I've only been able to use this a couple of times I really like it I think I'll be extremely happy on the trail in the summertime this is probably what I will go to this and the sleeping bag liner I have and send my sleeping bag home this is the stuff sack for this under quilt. It is a ultra uh, light uh, sill nylon dry sack by Sea to Summit. And then I have a Sierra Design backcountry bed. I love this thing, it keeps me very warm. It's a mummy style, it does not have zippers, it has a quilt like uh, that you pull around you. This thing is amazing, I love this thing, uh, but in the summertime it won't be needed, uh, so I'll send it home until I need it in the fall or cool, cooler weather up north. Um, it's a 20 degree bag, 850 dry down. Love, love, love this bag. And it's Stuff Sack, which is a Sea to Summit Ultra Seal Nylon Bag. Uh, the one for my underquilt is small, this one's a medium. My Sea to Summit <laughs> uh, Dry Down Pillow. Uh, I need a pillow, and the Stuff Sack with clothes in it doesn't work for me. The Air pillows do not work they're uncomfortable they give me a headache this thing is great um, a luxury item I know but I'm taking it and then my Sea to Summit uh, sleeping bag liner it's a reactor bag and it gives me 15 to 20 degrees more warmth so this will be what I probably use in the summertime with the underglow okay so then we will move on to water filtration I have a platypus wide mouth three liter bag that I will collect dirty water in. And then I have this Sawyer inline um, system that I will use for gravity feed uh, water in camp. I shouldn't be able to uh, need to, to get water during the day. I should have hopefully plenty. I will also have uh, two small one liter smart water bottles that I'll carry with me. One I will have water in, of course, and the other one probably something like Gatorade or some kind of hydration, um, salt, uh, replenish my electrolytes and stuff. Um, 
these are the straps that I use around my, uh, I put my Tyvek ground cloth inside of my uh, foam pad and, and roll it up and it goes underneath my backpack and these hold it together. <laughs> also have Aquamir as a backup in case something goes wrong with my Sawyer squeeze filter, which is what I will be using mainly as a Sawyer squeeze. Uh, regular, I don't like the mini and these micros. I can't even believe people can get water through those things. Um, Aquamir though, uh, you need a second backup just in case. So this is my backup just in case. My cook set. So here's my cook system. It is a Caldera Calm cake system. This thing will hold over two cups of water. So it will have, hold enough water for to any meals that I make as well as coffee, uh, masala chai, uh, hot tea. So I think this will work just fine. It's really lightweight. I'm going to have a, this is a two ounce bowl screw lid uh, i have dried hummus uh, and dehydrated uh, beans that i can rehydrate in this eat on tortillas really good energy and carbohydrates um, proteins so um, yeah this is my cook system this as well which is a uh, insulator bag for my meals that i will be eating mostly will be dehydrated and rehydrate in here uh, inside of a uh, quart size Ziploc freezer baggies. That's what all my food will be in. Um, and then hot water in that and then in here so we'll have proper heat storage. Um, so that is my cook system. Moving right along. My, my bear bag is a Z-Pax bear bag. Uh, inside is my rock bag inside of here is my carabiner and rope for throwing over the tree and I will line it with an odor proof uh, OP sack or op sack um, inside here. I have another uh, ba um, food bag that is a er your sack. Uh, it's a little heavier. It comes with the aluminum or stainless steel liner. Same thing your windscreens are made out of. Um, I just, yeah, no. It's a little heavy, so I'm not going to carry it. I'm going to use this instead. Um, moving right along. This is my headlamp. It is a black diamond spot headlamp. Um, I've never used this one. I had a Pexel before, but um, I'm replacing it because it was having issues with it the last hike I went on. So that's my headlamp. This is my z uh wallet inside of here. I will have my ID, um, the credit card I'm going to use, uh, there's kitty kitty, uh, money, and my insurance cards in here. Uh, Swiss Army knife, multi-tool. Lighter, that's one. I have another one in my cook set. It's inside of it, so when I'm cook, go to, to cook, the lighter's already there. This will be in my hip pocket of my backpack for any other use I may need it for. A tripod for my camera. I'm using my iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, I have extra storage on it, uh, and that's what I'm recording with now. Uh, tripod for that. This is my uh, electronics bag. It has, uh, it's a Cedar Summit uh, drag bag, one liter, have an anchor, uh, wall charger, two port, quick charge, 10,000 milliamps, I think is what you say, charging bank, stick pick for my trekking pole for recording, I have my cables, which is one for um, the anchor and one for 
my phone and then my headphones and the adapter so I can use them to listen to music and editing and things and an extra battery. That is my electronics bag. And then we'll get down to a few other items. I have this, these next few will be a luxury items, I'm sure. Uh, umbrella, very lightweight purse umbrella. Uh, I've just heard too many things about how uh, it's a uh, morale booster when you're hiking days and days in the rain to just keep the rain from pelting on your face. I'm going to give it a try. I've never used an umbrella in hiking before. I just suck it up and hike in the rain. But I've never hiked for five, six months on end either. Um, this weighs nothing. It is a 15 liter Gore-Tex uh, water pill. Um, that and this uh, dry towel. See the summer dry towel. I plan on bathing every night before I get into a bag, uh, my sleeping bag, into bed. I have a, a little white, white, uh, lightweight cloth I brought back from India. I, it is weighs nothing. Uh, I'll use to wash with uh, dry, of course, um, and collect water to be able to wash myself, maybe wash socks out and, and dishes. Um, so I think it'll be handy. I may end up sending it home, you never know. So that's those. Um, DEET 100%. Everybody needs it on the trail. All, my, all of my clothing and uh, my hammock and stuff will be treated with permethrin. Um, toilet paper and hand sanitizer and a Cita Summit uh, trowel. Self-explanatory. I have a repair kit in here. It has an emergency uh, blanket. It has uh, some tenacious tape, a, a little cut off piece of uh, pen with uh, duct tape wrapped around it and a needle and thread. First aid, I have some powder, uh, gold bond powder uh, for my feet, uh, some sunscreen, earplugs, band-aids, uh, a little bit of Neosporin, not much, this thing doesn't weigh much at all. Bathroom bag, it has the Dr. Bronner soap in it, a few Q-tips, toothpaste, toothbrush, um, chapstick, tooth floss, um, nail clippers, and tweezers. And then on to clothing, which I will do a separate video on clothing, but this I will just show you that I'm, I'm, I have. This is the Cedar Summit 4 liter bag. This has my camp clothes in it. What I will wear at camp, and they have to stay dry, so they are in their dry sack all by themselves. Um, headbands and a cloth. For rain gear, I have a rain kilt, uh, z Pax rain kilt, very lightweight. Um, I've not ever used it. I've had it for a few years. Never really used it, but I think it will come in handy. I have a Marmot Pre-Sip rain jacket. I love this thing. The pants are just too heavy. That's why I got the kilt. Uh, this thing helps me stay warm when it's windy out, as well as keep me dry when it rains. Um, I really like it. I have a, the North Face, um, yeah, I just lost it. <laughs> it's my hoodie, it's synthetic, uh, thermal ball, it's a North Face thermal ball jacket. Um, of course that would be for gear review, uh, I'm sorry, for clothing review. And then here's my clothes. In this, and this looks awfully big, because it is, um, half of it probably is clothes I will be wearing on the, the day while I'm hiking and then the rest will be backup clothes um, which you don't really take backup clothes I have a pair of tights in there um, that I may hike, end up hiking in but uh, definitely will need when it's cooler out for underneath my pants that I'll be hiking in a few extra socks and such but I'll go over clothes later this will be what I take with me on the Appalachian Trail for my through hike in 2019 starting on March 20th. Um, I'm sure there's better gear out there. This is gear I've been using off of, uh, and on 
over the last probably few years. Stuff I have collected here recently that I haven't really tried. Uh, but for the most part, most of it I've, I've been using and I'm not happy with it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next.